It's me, Mario. So good morning. It is so dark out. Um, it definitely feels like winter. Getting the torches out. You should definitely be on the lookout for Jaws 1, 2 and 3 CIC video because um, they go for a relatively good amount. How much two VHS? They're a pound each. Pound each. Yeah. You just get that one, thank you. Which it might be anyway. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah, alright. How much are your mugs? Or does it depend what it is? Ten pence. Ten pence. Just got these little espresso ones. Thank you so much. How much is your hat? One pound. Okay, I get that, thank you. Is your skirt? Two pounds? Uh, did you do one fifty? Thank you. It's weird that it's got split down it. How much are your hats? 50p. 50p. Oh. Can we jump in across somewhere? Did you do 50p for two? Thank you. Right, so just quickly run through what I picked up. Sun's right in my eyes. I picked up, um, this is for personal use, some cardboard mailers which is good for comics and stuff like that. 50p for the lot, which is how many? One, four, five, six, about nine. I picked up this white stuff skirt, size 12, pound fifty, which I thought was decent. Picked up a couple of hats, Converse hat for a pound. No fear, it definitely needs a clean. And this really cool Hercules, oh, Hercules cap. Oh, actually, it's not Hercules. It's Hunchback of Notre Dame. I just noticed because you've got the little thingy. It's the, um, what are they called? Anyway, Hunchback of Notre Dame. It is a St. Michael's. So that's m and um, I picked up a couple of espresso cups. One of them is chipped. I think it's this Emirates one. But they are Starbucks. It is chipped at the bottom. So, but he said 10p each. So, oh, I'll just get the two. If it's not anything, it doesn't matter. Little two espresso cups. Um, Transformers VHS. The original, 1989. Transformers, Carnage in C minor. So that one there. And then I have some Dickies shoes, which I picked up. I think they're a size seven, UK seven. And then a Billabong bag, which I got when it was really dark. Not a huge amount, but hopefully tomorrow will be better. So here at Bishop Stortford, um, 
They open at nine. Sellers allowed to come at eight, set up the stall, which I think is really nice. And then buyers aren't allowed in until nine. So it should be a good one. Christmas stuff, soon be upon us. <laughs> I love all the old tools, yeah. old tools and stuff. I'm still looking stuff. for quite a few. Yeah. But because I'm only going to use them a couple of times. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you need to come out here and start selling. <laughs> <laughs> they want the money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Work, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hard work. How much is your jumper? What do you want to get? I'm so rubbish at this. I don't Two pounds? <laughs> I do 250. 250? Okay, thanks. Love a good upsell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. How much is your case? Take one fifty for it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. oh hats. That's cool. That's pretty cool, but I don't play poker, so. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh no, where to put it? Or yeah, I'll I'll, I'll be loved, won't I? I'll give yeah, us some of that. Because the top's separate to this table. Yeah. To, but this folds up, so it's only triangular. It's oh, that's good. Small. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll be the talk of the town if I give that as a gift. <laughs> they won't invite me round again. <laughs> you never know. You might get more. Well, this is it. It's like a Star Wars booth, I suppose, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. I don't, I don't know how much it works. Yeah. Unusual. Yeah. Would you do five for the five? Yeah, you Yeah? Five, you never know, do you? No, exactly. Might, be worth a few, might, yeah. not, might not be. 
Only thing I haven't got a bag. Like. No, that's fine. I got one. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah bang them down. Right, yeah, thank you. Right. You never know, do you? It's a lot busy around here now. For this bag, um, with all the stuff in it, yeah, four pounds. Thank you. Shake three, yeah, okay, thank you. Right, so that was uh, two boot sales. I actually went to another, um, hey man, I actually went to another um, sale thing on my way home. There was a diversion, and I saw that they were having some place was having a like a charity sale thing so I stopped off there and I picked up a few items which I'll just run through now so it was like a it was for a nursery there was toys there clothing there obviously everybody went for the clothing but I managed to pick up a few items it's a nice little mint velvet long sleeve it's like a bat wing jumper um what else did I pick up? Oh, I picked up this hoodie. I think it's a TOG24 hoodie. Women's hoodie. I think it's on the smaller size, size 10. Night Drive Fit England top. One or two little marks which I will get out. And another England top. This is on a score draw official retro. So it's a small. I don't think it's anything great. But I picked it up anyway. I was feeling like the autumnal vibes. I picked up this jumper. I think it's a size 16 and it's sea salt, which is nice. Nice little pumpkin. And then a Jack Wills, like rugby style women's top, which is a UK 10. Second car boot sale that I went to, you've already seen it anyway, but I just quickly run through, is a super dry jumper. It's a nice little. Timberland polo that was two pounds converse full zip up with a hood a couple of sonic magazines these are 90 definitely 98 i think it's as well. i picked up this estee lauder bag brand new it does have a couple of items in there i picked up these like weird spoofy star wars things um it was just a punt it went not 10 pound for the five but i weren't willing to pay that just for a punt um they're like animals made out to be like different star wars characters so i'm guessing this is like luke and this is jabba i don't actually think they have an their name on it it's 97 to 99 so they are vintage um fast wars the phantom meanies i haven't seen any sold there are some listed I'm going to try and sell them as a lot and just see how it works out. I got this uh, Nintendo Switch Pokemon case. It has really nice details inside. Little mesh here, little Pokeballs there, and then like a little thing there, which is good. And I've picked up quite a lot of stuff um, last week at the charity shop so I'll grab those and then we'll just go through them I brought an absolute banger and if you follow me on Instagram you'll see that I posted it on there but I'll show you just now hang on a minute okay so I picked up these uh, Christmas baubles they are glass vintage it cost me three pound um, in the original box uh, it says matte glass ornament four so they're like a gold ornament really nice windward holidays at the moment uh vintage christmas decorations have done really well for me they've been flying out so thanks if you bought from me and also if you have bought from me let me know that you're a subscriber because i'll add a little something in there i know that um someone bought from me previously and they didn't let me know and i'd really like to show my appreciation to to uh, the subscribers if you're buying from me so I'll put a little something in there for you so let me know Transformers paid a couple of quid for this um, 
Transformers sold really well for me, so I'm happy to pick up these little thingies. <clears throat> and then a, a few of our clothing items. Pewtery, I don't know if anybody's heard of that brand before. It is, I think it's 100% wool. I'm probably lying now. 100% uh, virgin wool. So, really nice feel to it. I'm definitely feeling autumnal, although the the weather is not. And then I picked up a pair of trousers. I have decided to do a what not? No, I haven't. I've decided to do a Poshmark show. I've been um, I've been certified to sell on Poshmark for I don't know a good couple of months now, and I kept putting it off and putting it off. Um, but I decided to try my hand at it because you don't get anywhere by not trying. Um, if it works out, great as another avenue to sell clothing, to meet new people, to network, to chat, etc, etc, and make a little bit more money. If it doesn't work out, then I've tried That's it. That's what this YouTube channel is about and eBay is about, is stepping out of comfort zones, trying new things. If they don't work, that's fine. We can try something else or we can add to it we can change things up um and that's what this is about you know this this isn't my full-time goal um but this is where i'm at i've moment. given youtube a year um to get to a thousand subscribers um and i think i know there are people who have been doing it two months and they've got over three thousand subscribers or whatever but i haven't really been publicizing it I didn't tell any of my family that I was doing it. I wasn't sharing it with friends. I wanted it to be really organic. And if it kicks off and I get 12,000 subscribers, I'm amazed. If I get 12 subscribers, I'm happy also. Um, I really appreciate everybody watching and following along. I've had some people like drop out <laughs> and watching because I've not been on it like I have been before. Nevertheless, we try. Anyway, I digress. I do this all the time. Next thing that I brought was this Mario hat. It is a little bit of a, out of shape. I definitely need to reshape it, but it's me, Mario. This little gamer hat. And then the piece de resistance is this Ferrari jacket. It's a promo print. I'm getting attacked by it. So I did pay up for it. I paid £30 for it. And that was a gut instinct. I was just thinking, well, if it doesn't sell, then it's 30 quid. You know, um, I probably spent more on that in the week of getting coffee. So it's a promo print made in Italy, uh, made in Italy, large. It says international SRL. Under the authority of Ferrari, um, Del 23, Luigio, 1986. So, it's in really great condition. Full zip. It's like an all-over print. And it actually has zips on the sleeves, so it can become a gilet. Uh, the only thing that I can see that's wrong is this tiny little mark here. I haven't touched it, I haven't cleaned it or anything yet. So everything else is pristine. Even the buckets doesn't don't even think it's been worn. She's been in a closet somewhere collecting dust. So this little thing here is it. Um how cool is that? I have seen this exact one on Etsy for two hundred dollars. Um they list it as very, very rare. Um I think it's a really great size and it'd be good for any um, car enthusiast. I know they wear them at F1 and stuff like that. And also, if you like vintage pieces, which I do, um, yeah, I go nice. through weeks, I go through days where I'm like really hyper focused. Last week I did really, I knuckled down and I got about 60 listings all um, scheduled up. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I didn't need to worry about it. Um, today, I've seen those listings, they're going creeping down. I'm either like 
on it or not. <laughs> so I made a few sales over the weekend, um, which brought my weekly total up to over 200. So that's what I'm aiming for, about 200 pound a week, um, which is what I was getting part time anyway when I was working. Anything over that is an absolute bonus. I'm happy to be going along and doing things at my own pace. It doesn't have to be reselling is not my life. Um, and I'm happy about that. Yeah, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, my handle will be wherever. And then I have a scheduled Poshmark show on the 24th of October. You don't have to buy anything. Just come there, support, um, have a chat. Uh, I'm selling men's and women's. Hopefully there should be a, a few surprises for my first one. A couple of mystery boxes in there maybe if I get around to it. But yeah like share and subscribe and be blessed have a good week see ya